we've had uh, observers here physically at the meeting and also quite a lot of observers online from I, I think every continent in the world which has been good a lot of questions from observers and uh, it's been been an excellent meeting wanting to as best we can to address those issues that affect more than one panel health-based guidance values for for chemicals that are both nutrients and, and also additives and one example would be phosphate but also copper is another one and copper for example is is clearly a nutrient but it's also important as an additive in a range of different products. Three of the other issues that we've been addressing, uh, the first one relates to non-monotonic dose response or it might be called low dose response and that follows on from work that has been done here in the scientific committee some years ago and here we're particularly focusing on the issue of well, what's the what's the biological relevance of, of, of these responses. Another one relates to nanomaterials there's uh, EU regulation specifically focusing on engineered nanomaterials, but here we're focusing on those, uh, those uh, more conventional uh, products and the potential for nanomaterials being in those. And the last area is in chemical mixtures. It's been an area where there's been a lot of work by the scientific committee developing guidance documents, and we're again taking that to the next stage and how we can best practically apply this uh, guidance document in a range of different settings. Another important area the scientific committee relates to emerging risks and uh, there's been several issues we've uh, been briefed on and also discussed in detail during this meeting. One relates to the rapid alert system for food and feed. It's an EU-based system for information flows and another area of, uh, of emerging risk that we've uh, just finished in discussing now relates to the, uh, a, a new methodology to help better understand drivers, better understand risks and better understand ways to manage those in, in, uh, in uh, food systems and we're using the example of Atlantic salmon in a Norwegian setting to do that.